The Fox 54 Tower Cam Network, brought to you by Brighter Side Roofing. Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are having a great and pleasant day. Unfortunately, it's a bit on the rainy side as well as seeing those storms across the CSRA. Currently taking a look outside of our studio off Washington Road. We're seeing cloudy conditions as well as some rain showers coming through. Now they're mainly off towards the northeast, and that's where we continue to monitor those showers and storms overnight. I-20 now, we're seeing some mild traffic, not seeing too much rain on the roads currently is he currently here's the G dot I 20 exit 200 and the rain starting to dry up a little bit in that area. So the roads are starting to look a little bit better, but if you're headed anywhere tonight, drive safe because we have a lot of weather in the area. Lots of rain from Thompson over towards Gibson. The Metro CSRA seeing some light rain showers and Edgefield as well. Now the thunderstorms are primarily focused currently to closer towards Tignall and Washington, especially over towards McCormick. So if you're seeing those thunderstorms, those are going to slowly start to move on out and then we'll have a couple more rounds of these pop up showers and thunderstorms. Now over towards the east. This is closer towards Bamberg, Klein and Allendale. There's a lot of of atmospheric activity going on there as well. So be careful wherever you're at tonight. We continue to monitor these showers and thunderstorms. Currently 74 degrees in Wilkes County. This is the Washington Wilkes County Airport. Six mile an hour winds, so these are why these storms are moving so very slow, and that will just continue to dump rainfall, and we have that uh, potential for some aerial flooding in the area. Current conditions, we're seeing temperatures into the 80s and upper 70s, so it's hot and it's humid on top of all of these storms. 75 in Louisville, 80 degrees in Millen, and 78 towards Sylvania, 75 towards um, Aiken. Tonight, we're dropping down to a low of about 71 degrees degrees with that aerial flood watch until tomorrow at 12 a.m. So that's going to go all the way through Thursday and expires Friday at 12 a.m. Continuing to see that thunderstorms until about 3 a.m. tonight and partly cloudy skies is really what we're seeing. Weather watcher Mark Hardy also reported a temperature currently of about 76 and picked up over an inch of precipitation. So a lot of rainfall across the CSRA. Tomorrow, 86 degrees, afternoon showers and thunderstorms are really what we're expecting. Going to be a bit on the mild side compared to the conditions that we're seeing today. Hot and humid as well with a 60% chance of showers and storms in the afternoon. So some areas get not going to see as much activity for tomorrow. Our flash flood potential really remains for the next 48 hours, and that's going to be the biggest time frame that we're looking at for this aerial flood watch. And that's mainly going to be focused in Aiken, Edgefield, Richmond County, and over towards Barnwell, and even uh, down south towards Waynesboro. Tomorrow it starts to uh, pick up just a bit for our, especially our eastern counties, but Atlanta's starting to look a little bit better in terms of the flash flood potential. For our local future cast here is 6 p.m. until about 8 p.m. tonight. You can see those heavier showers and thunderstorms down south towards Swainsboro, Millen, Waynesboro, Wrightsville, and they're starting to clump together. So that's where we see those heavy downpours throughout the evening. Becomes a bit more widespread by about 11, and then another couple rounds of showers and storms. As the radiational heating dies off, the storms become a less chance of forming into the late afternoon and evening. Tomorrow, we're really watching those sun and clouds for the morning. A couple of clouds up north towards Aiken, Barnwell, and Allendale, and a little bit of some clear activity towards Louisville around noon tomorrow. Then we start to see these pop-up showers and storms as a possibility tomorrow. They're going to be a little bit on the lighter side compared to today. But potential for future rainfall still remains high, especially in the next 48 hours. So that's especially closer towards Barnwell, Sylvania, Millen. You can see 3.54 inches of precipitation for Sylvania, 0.25 for Waynesboro, and 1.14 for Allendale. As for the seven day future or the forecast, we are going to be continuing to see these temperatures into the 80s, 87 for Friday, 87 for Sunday and 88 for Monday. So it slowly starts to see that warming trend to come back into the area and showers and thunderstorms are going to be what we continue to expect every afternoon and evening for the next seven days.